Okay, so now that we've got our map, uh, the next step is to populate our Excel data file with all the coordinates of all the locations with which we used to, with which we want to attach um, our data and our metrics. Um, to do this is pretty easy. It's just a matter of annotating these locations on the map. Um, I'm going to show you now how I annotate seat A1. I'm just going to zoom in here on seat A1 so I get um, quite a detailed view. And I'm going to right click on the exact location where I want to plot data and I'm going to annotate this point, click on point and by default Tableau is going to report uh, for me what these XY coordinates are so I'm just going to click OK and then Tableau has popped up a little box here that tells me that seat A1 is 29 units in the X coordinate system and Y in and 321 in the Y. And it's just a matter of me adding this data into my Excel sheet. Uh, 29, 21. Right. So now of course you're gonna to have to repeat this process um, for each uh, location with which you want to plot data. Um, in this particular instance, because my locations are all uh, quite well organized on, on the map, all I've got to do is um, you know, find the distance between seats A1 and A2, and find the distance be between seats B1 and A1, and then to sort of do some formulas uh, in Excel, and my map is, is quickly populated. But it would be quite a manual process if you had lots of locations randomly scattered about your image. The final step is just to be able to link um, your seat locations on this XY coordinate system with your actual data that you want to present. Um, here I'm just showing you um, what I've used in, in, in this particular example where I've got all the data that I want to describe about each set, each location and then I've got in column A um, I guess a, a, prim a primary key that will link um, this particular data in, in for seat D22 to uh, my seating plan um, data and in, in Tableau that, that's pretty easy you can you can do that uh, in a number of ways and that's it